Welcome and hello everyone. My name is Gordon Feener and I am an attorney located in Boston, Massachusetts with a satellite office in Stoneham, Mass. During the course of this informational video, I'd like to focus on the non-waiver agreement or the non-waiver form in connection with homeowner insurance coverage and claims. Before I begin discussing the subject matter of this informational video, I'd like to briefly summarize my background. I have been in business as an attorney for more than 30 years providing legal services with a concentration in homeowner and or property related insurance claims. Prior to starting this office, I worked for approximately 20 years in the insurance claims industry. This segment will supplement my prior segments concerning non-waiver agreements and reservation of rights letters. In summary, a non-waiver agreement is essentially an agreement that is entered into between you and the insurance company in which you and the insurance company agree that the insurance company can conduct an investigation of your claim without making any commitment as to whether the insurance company will pay that claim. I have an example of a non-waiver agreement on the easel next to me. The non-waiver agreement that you may be asked to sign may be different, but I suggest that the language will be substantially similar to this example. A non-waiver agreement can be broken down into various sections. First part of the non-waiver agreement typically or specifically identifies the name of the insurance company and the name of the insured. The second portion of the non-waiver agreement identifies the date of loss or the date of the claim. The third section of the non-waiver agreement generally provides that the insurance company can conduct an examination of the insured, you the insured, your books and records, and any physical damage without the insurance company waiving any of their rights. The fourth section generally has a provision for the intent further confirming that the intent of the agreement is to allow the insurance company to conduct an investigation of to the cause of loss of your damage without any regards of liability or commitment to make payment. If you are being asked to sign a non-waiver agreement, you should give careful consideration as to whether you need to consult with an attorney who concentrates in homeowner insurance claims. Generally, you're not required to sign a non-waiver agreement under most Massachusetts homeowner insurance policies. If the insurance company intended on paying a claim or your claim, I suggest there is no reason for them to ask you to sign a non-waiver agreement. As an insured, you have a right to have the insurance company conduct a reasonable and objective investigation of your claim and make a decision as to whether they wish to pay that claim or not. The general purpose behind a non-waiver agreement is to allow the insurance company to engage in an investigation without you, the insured, believing that you will be paid. When you purchased the insurance policy, I suggest that you not only purchased insurance coverage, but you also purchased the right to fair treatment for the insurance company to conduct a fair, objective investigation and make payment to you when liability was reasonably clear. Hopefully this video has given you some direction in order to further educate yourself on the issue of the non-waiver agreement in connection with the Massachusetts homeowner insurance policy. If you have suffered a loss and need assistance with your homeowner insurance claim, please do not hesitate to contact the Law Office of Gordon Feener. For additional information, you may wish to visit our website at www.attorneyfeener.com or www.homeownerclaims.com. In conclusion, I'd like to thank you for watching this informational video and remind you that this informational video can be considered to be advertising under the ethical rules. Any selection of an attorney should be a careful and thoughtful decision. Again, thank you for watching this video and have a good and safe day.